video, I'm going to be showing you how our MemberPress Elementor integration works. First, you'll see I've created this membership. And I've created this partial content rule connected to that Elementor membership. Next, I've created a page to illustrate how this integration works and what you can do with it. So first, I'm going to add some content into this page. I want to have two sections here, one for my free users, or anyone who's accessing the site who doesn't have an active membership, and for my paid users, someone who does have an active membership on my site. So creating just a simple text section here, I'm entering what I want my free or any user to be able to see. Next, I'll replicate this process, but create a section that's going to be for my paid subscribers only. So in other words, they have to have an active membership to my Elementor membership per the rule that I showed you earlier in order to get access to this content. And with that created, I'm going to show you where you can access the integration. Selecting the option here with these six dots will allow an additional menu to appear. Clicking the member press tab here, you see the options. Select the rule that you created earlier, and then decide what you want the unauthorized content to be. If you leave it to default, it will show your, you, your users your default unauthorized message along with the login form if you set it up as such. Refreshing the page as an as an unauthorized or not logged in user, you can see that message here. Next, you can also set it to just hide. So in other words, the content that I've selected here will just be hidden completely from the user so they can't see it. Refreshing the page, you can see that it's completely hidden. Next, you can set a custom message by selecting display message and then entering a message here. So refreshing the page, you can see that custom unauthorized message shows up there. Now let me sign up as a user to this Elementor membership. So I've entered my information there, and now I'm going to submit the payment. And with the payment submitted, I get to the thank you page. Now let me go back to that page as this user. As you can see, I can access it. Thank you.